Lisa with Little Moth Creations and I am back with another box. Let's see if I can hold this up without telling you guys where I live. <laughs> I couldn't like draw over the label because it's got tape over the top of it. But anyways, if you haven't already guessed by the title of this video, this is my sacred space crate for July 2021. I think I missed like a month or two because um, I went on vacation, I stopped my subscriptions for a little bit. Some of them I kept getting because I had already paid for like three months, but I'm so happy to be back with Sacred Space. I love this box and it says handle with care on the top of this box, so I'm assuming there's something breakable. So hi guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Lisa and on my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings, one self-care subscription box and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And there's our uh, paperwork, and it is Lagnesta. Uh, see, okay, she said pronounce Lunasa, Lunasa, Lunasa. I've always called it Lagnesta, which is probably phonetically, <laughs> but it's also called Lamas, which is way easier to say. Falls on August 1st, roughly halfway between the summer solstice and autumn equinox. The name of the Sabbath derives from Old Gaelic and is a combination of lug, and that's why I always called it Lugnesta, a Celtic god, and Nasid or assembly. I'm going to still call it Lugnesta because that's what I call it. Lugnesta's alternate name, Lamas, derives from the Old English term for loaf mass. It originated from early English celebrations of harvest time, during which loaves of bread were consecrated. Originally, these Sabbaths honor Lug, the Celtic god of light, but it also celebrates his mythical foster mother, uh, Tail, to, tail well, I don't know how to say that, um, who is said to have cleared the lands of Ireland to make way for the planting of crops. But modern pagans celebrate Lugnesta as a harvest festival when the first crops of the year would traditionally have been reaped, the first harvest. This holiday celebrates the grain harvest. Grain is a very important crop for most civilizations. If the grain was left in the fields for too long, or if the bread made from the grain was not baked in time, families might starve. In early Ireland, it was not good to harvest grain before Lamas. If you did harvest before then, that meant that that harvest from the previous year ran out before the next harvest was ready. This meant that the farmers would have failed in providing for their community. On Lamas, the first sheaves of grain were cut, and by that night, the first loaves of bread for the season would have been baked. Even in early Christianity, the first loaves of the season were blessed by the church during Mass. Modern-day pagans bake breads and cakes to celebrate the historical grain harvest and subsequent bread, bake, bread making. Some observers celebrate with a harvest ritual. This ritual typically involves decorate an altar with symbols of the season. Some of these symbols include scathes, because they are used to cut the grain, corn, grapes, apples, and any other crops that might be harvested at this time. Some of these rituals involve casting a circle and saying words that symbolize our thanks to the earth for the harvest. After the ritual, everyone eats some bread together and may also drink wine or apple ale to wash it down. Ooh, I want some apple. I don't want it to be ale because I don't drink alcohol, but I want some apple juice now. To honor Lug, people make crafts and decorations for their house to represent his skills in those areas. And as with most Sabbaths, there is feasting. This feast usually is prepared with one's harvested crops at this time, if they have their own garden. Baking bread and giving it as an offering to Mother Earth is an easy way to observe this Sabbath, as well as baking bread to leave on your first harvest altar. Included in this box, <coughs> Excuse me. Included in this box are items to help you create a beautiful altar to honor and connect with Lagnesta, Sabbath, and bring energies of prosperity and abundance into your space. All right. So, first off, we have our July calendar, which um, we always get one. And so, there's the artwork, and then she always has like the moon. Um, moon phases and stuff in here and then I would guess that okay we've got like Nasta down here on August and then on the back it talks about the moon and the zodiac I believe it's pretty much the same it just talks about 
what the moon does in each zodiac sign. And then, ooh, we got some pretty artwork. Wonderful. And then on top, we've got orange paper and a sticker. And it says, Happy Lummis. Oh, I smell. Oh my God, it smells like apples, I think. Okay, we've got Harvest and Scents. And again, thank you for labeling these. Holy Mother. Ooh, we're gonna light this bitch up right now. Because, mmm. burn a little bit longer. Yay! And she gave us a little, oh, a little, uh, I don't know that that's Palo Santo, but we've got like a little wood burning stick and a little like harvest grain. How cute. I just wanted to smell it and it's got a little something something burned into the wood. It smells like wood which smells good. All right, so we have our uh, Lignasta First Harvest Blessings Ritual Soy Wax Ritual Candle. Oh, on top, okay. Gratitude fills my heart as I give thanks to honor the mother of us all. Great Mother Earth, I give thanks for all the bounty that she provides to sustain us. May this first harvest bless me with abundance in every aspect of my life. That which we sow, so shall we reap. Lignasta Blessings. Oh, look at that. How cute is that candle? And then there's that. Mmm. Okay, I forgot to like read. All right, Palo Santo, okay. With wheat offering. Palo Santo or holy wood is used to bless anything. Works great on blessing your sacred space, home, office, and especially yourself. I attach the wheat bundle to the stick so that it will work nicely on your first Harvest Altar. Wonderful. And then we've got the artwork. This beautiful Lagnasta artwork was hand drawn and designed by Sam, uh, Samantha Trick, AKA Schmoosie, Schmoosie, on Instagram and Facebook. This artwork will be part of the Sabbath series this year. Yay! I wonder if I missed any. I wonder, did she start it? I don't know, I'll have to go back and look at my old boxes and see if, because I, I can't even remember. Um, hopefully I haven't missed any. Otherwise I could probably go to their website maybe and buy some. All right, uh, and then we have our calendar for the month. This is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of pra our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is very important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. This artwork on this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Trick, and on Instagram she's at schmoozy, S-H-M-O-O-S-E-Y. Okay, and did I already talk about the incense? Oh, it's back here. Um, harvest incense, harvest incense sticks has a warm apple fragrance with notes of caramel, Sea salt, juicy pear, sweet vanilla, and graham cracker. No wonder it smells so good. Burn on your altar as a beautiful smelling offering to air during any of your harvest Sabbath rituals. Also works well as a kitchen blessing incense. Wonderful. And then we have our uh, Lignesta candle. This soy wax hand poured candle was curated with the intention of bringing in gratitude to Mother Earth for all that she provides for us, while also bringing in the energies of prosperity and abundance, adorned with star anise for good luck, money, happiness, and also increases psychic powers, a single green aventurine chip for abundance. Green aventurine is known as the stone of opportunity, thought to be the luckiest of all crystals, especially in manifesting abundance, prosperity, and wealth, or for increasing favor in competitions or games of chance. It's lucky winning energies makes it a great ally for boosting one's chances in any situation. Orange peel was added because orange peel is great for prosperity spells 
and uplifting a mood or mindset. This candle is filled with uh, quartz crystal chips. This white crystal is considered a master healer. It also amplifies energies by absorbing, storing, releasing, and regulating it throughout, excuse me, regulating it, therefore amplifying the powers of the complete spell. This candle was scented with apple and cinnamon. The magical properties of apples include love, protection, fertility, and longevity, and cinnamon for prosperity and love. I included a ritual prayer on the lid of the candle that you can recite before lighting it during your harvest ritual or while lighting it on your altar, which I already read to y'all. Okay, let's see what's next. I'm assuming we have some oil. I'm starving. What y'all gonna eat tonight? Um, I think me and my boyfriend are gonna go out to dinner. First harvest, ritual oil. And then look at the yummies in there. Ooh. Mmm. It kind of, you know, I'm gonna put it on myself. It smells. Mmm. I think it smells like the incense. I'm like, oh, it smells so good. Okay. First Harvest Ritual Oil for Abundance, Happiness, and Health. The ritual oil smells like a harvest pie. A flower offering for health was added, which includes blue cornflower, rose petals, calendula, and lavender. Tiger's Eye Stone was included to help ground you and connect you to Mother Earth. Cinnamon Stick and Gold Mica Stone Flakes to bring in abundance and orange peel for happiness. Use this oil to anoint your magical tools altar and yourself. You can use this oil for all your harvest rituals and blessing your sacred spaces. Lovely. It smells so good. My boyfriend's gonna think I baked for him and then he's gonna realize that's ridiculous because I don't bake. I do make some chocolate chip cookies that are really good. It's not my recipe. I found it, but they're really good. Comfrey and Meadow Sweet for muscles and tendon injuries. I love her salves. So there's that. Ingredients are sunflower oil, comfrey leaf, meadow sweet, beeswax, and uh, phenonip. Which I don't think these ever smell. I think they're. But I'm gonna put some on my elbow because I don't know if you guys know. I think I've said it in one of my videos. I was diagnosed with tennis elbow. I don't play tennis. Um, but when I make my bath bombs, I use my elbow and I had started back to um, lifting weights and so I think that was the combo that made me have it but I saw an orthopedic surgeon who had seen me when I broke my foot and he said tennis elbow so he gave me some anti-inflammatory medicine and then I got a cortisone shot so it's a lot better in case you guys wondered all right um Comfrey and Meadowsweet Sab. This is a great sab to keep in your first aid kits or gym bag. Comfrey has been used for centuries for its ability to assist in healing. It contains a substance called allantoin, which penetrates the skin, promoting cell renewal. Comfrey is especially good to use on slow to heal areas such as tendons and on areas where there has been previous energy or energy. Previous injury. I can't speak. Meadowsweet has anti-inflammatory qualities and brings relief to muscular aches and pains. This also may also be helpful for the following. Osteoarthritic pain, sprains, aches and pains in muscles and joints, minor fractures, particularly ribs, as a muscle rub to or after exercise, prior to or after exercise. Apply and gently rub in two times per day as required on unbroken skin. And I already told you what was in it. Um, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna put this on my foot too because even though it's been a year since I broke my foot, it still feels like it's not, it's broke. <laughs> so, all right. Now I think we've got our herb. The box will not stay open. So we have Believe it or not, Meadow Sweet. And I love her jars. They have a flat 
thing where they sit up and you can just get right into them. I love them. They're so stinking cute. All right. Meadowsweet in glass herb jar. Meadowsweet is particularly abundant at this time of year, making it a perfect herb to work with around the harvest season. Meadowsweet gets its name not from meadows, but from its history as a traditional ingredient in early mead making, used to give the honey wine an added fresh and bright flavor. Meadowsweet contains um, salic salicylic acid, the same chemical as aspirin. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> same chemical as aspirin, which makes it useful as a pain reliever. A favorite of Elizabeth uh, the first, meadowsweet was traditionally used as a strewing herb to scent earthen floors in baths to treat fevers, drunk as a tea, or simply sniff to relieve headaches. Oh! Okay, we'll see. I have headaches all the time. All right. Meadowsweet water was used in the Scottish Highlands as a cosmetic to improve the complexion. A masculine energy plant ruled by Jupiter, Meadowsweet was one of the three most sacred herbs of the Druids, along with water, mint, and vervain, and it is often used in spells for love and for peace. Powers are love, divination, peace, and happiness. Meadowsweet dried herb can be used in various love mixtures and spells. Scatter around the house or workplace to keep peace and promote happiness. It is said that the scent of meadowsweet brings happiness and cheer and cheers the heart. Uh, gender is masculine, planet Jupiter, and element of air. Right. We have some harvest tea. Here we go. Can't smell it through the bag. Harvest tea. This organic tea blend is not only delicious, but represents the early harvest. Made with cranberries, cinnamon, apples, rose hips, cloves, lemon peel, orange peel, and calendula petals, it is naturally caffeine free. All ingredients are certified organic. Just add two to three teaspoons of, excuse me, two eight ounce of boiling water and brew for seven to 15 minutes, or according to taste preference, the longer it brews, the stronger the flavor. And we've already discussed this, guys. In a different video, my mug, this tea strainer, tea. We're good. I'm all set. Yay! Okay, I think I just read the whole thing, didn't I? Okay. The longer it brews, the stronger it is. I don't know if I have th this. Is a uh, sept septarian? How do you pronounce that? It's so pretty. It's a good chunk too, y'all. Okay. Septarian is a powerful grounding stone that awakens one's connection to Mother Earth and the nurturing energy she provides. One's root chakra will become activated when working with the stone, as well as vital life force energy being channeled throughout your body. This energy being transferred through you is that of ancient origin, being a combination of three powerful minerals that will help in the realignment of one's chakra column. One may experience an inner awakening when connecting with this stone, driving drastic change and new habits to replace old one's old daily habits. Septarian is a perfect tool for anyone going through some sort of drastic change in their life and can help one repair their emotional body. Carrying this stone Daily will provide a protective shield against, excuse me, shield around one's aura, full of power, earth, and energy that will help one slowly heal from the inside out. It may be a long, drawn out process, but one can fully repair their emotional body and push through any lingering trauma. Though I chose the stone this month because of its ability to connect you to Mother Earth, a bonus is that it also, it is also very powerful in ancestral work placed on your nightstand to receive nightly messages from a guide or ancestor. Oh, nice. So this would be a good one to use um, during Samhain because um, we're kind of calling in our ancestors. So there is that. Ooh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. 
I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it does have some shiller. But um, I already kind of saw on here what stone it is. I would have thought this was Labradorite, um, but it is a little different. It's more like gray. Anyways, I'm gonna put it on. Hold on. Let me get my X-Acto knife because I'm not trying to break this thing. Here we go. Okay. Yay! I currently have a hair bow on my, my... I've got such a small wrist, but anyways. Lovely. I forgot to put my extra light right here, guys, so I'm sorry if my lighting is not as good. All right, so this 12 millimeter bracelet is made with larvakite stones. I don't know that I own larvakite. Harvest is about abundance, so I wanted to include natural energies that will bring, that will help bring your abundance in every aspect of your life. When it comes to wealth and abundance, larvakite is a very beneficial and supportive stone. The energies of this stone will support you on your projects, endeavors, and businesses. Ooh, until completion or until you achieve your financial goals. It will give you the wisdom and the strength to turn your plans to reality. Nice. This stone will also give you the know-how to figure out complex situations. It will help you understand complicated problems so that you can find the best and most profitable solutions. Larvakite is also very protective as well as a great grounding stone. It is cleansing to the subtle bodies and facilitates a strong connection with the energies of earth, helping to connect with the spirits of nature. Larvakite stimulates inner visions and enhances our psychic abilities, also linked to the astrological signs of Aquarius, that is me. Wonderful, it is connected to the elements of earth and wind and vibrates to the number two. Oh, I love it. I am so excited, I don't own, I, I really don't think I have a Larvakite. And it goes with Aquarius. All right, I think I only have one more thing. Yes, okay. And it's a big one. And I know what it is, but I don't know what it looks like. So I guess I have it put away. We got a Nostara plaque back in March. Um, so this is a plaque for like NASA and I'm sure that I, so what did I miss? Ostara, I would have missed Litha. Dang it. I'm going to have to go on her website and get that. There's, there's a few things I'm going to have to get. Cause I also missed, um, like a while back I hit, when I had first started subscribing to this, um, to this, um, subscription box. I started when they did Earth. They were on the elements and I got Earth. And so I have a plaque for Earth. I really need to get the other plaques because they're really cool. Okay. Happy Lamas, may your harvest be blessed with abundance in every aspect of your life. Ah! How cool. And it's got a, um, a hangy thingy. It's a good size plaque. I'm so excited. And look, it's gold. Woo! I love it. Thank you, Sacred Space Crate. Love you. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Llamas wall plaque. This plaque was custom designed and hand painted exclusively for this box. This is a Sabbath decoration that you can hang above your altar or any sacred space during Lithasta season and then store until the next year. Very nice, love. That's why um, I need to get the other ones that I've missed. I hope that, I'm pretty sure that she has that stuff on her website. Um, I'm gonna keep this box so I can store it each year. So that is it for the Sacred Space Crate for July 2021. It is an amazing box. Um, Again, what is your favorite? Ugh, everything is so great. I don't know. 
I really love the bracelet and of course the plaque. So, but everything is really wonderful. I'm excited about the salve. Her salves are really great. She has one, I forget what it's called, but I put it like on a cut and it healed like in two seconds. Maybe like five seconds, but it healed really quick and I was really excited about it. So I am a advocate for her salves. She is amazing. Uh, Melissa is the creator of this box. Um, and in the bottom it says, thank you for your pay for your patience in receiving this box this month. There was some supplies that had been held up in shipping and it put me behind in finishing some of the important items in this box and I refuse to rush any of my curating. I, I agree. I just don't want that kind of energy in my boxes. I only want to send you energies of blessings and joy each month. The good news is that while I was waiting on these supplies, I was able to start on next month's box so that box should be ready to go out early. Next month's theme is divination. This will be a really fun and interactive box that you're not going to want to miss. Have, excuse me, have a pros prosperous and blessed Lagnasta like, Sabbath. Many blessings to you, Melissa, Sacred Space Crate. And I will link her website below in case you guys don't already subscribe or if you want to check out her market because she does sell um, items whenever, you know, they're already out to the subscribers. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great box, well worth it. I have always been pleased with everything that she has offered, so 10 thumbs up, but I only have two. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below, and if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. And if y'all wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a comment. It really helps me out. I'm really trying to boost my channel because I want to keep doing this for you guys. It's so much fun. Um, way better than doing it by myself. So I thank you for tuning in. It is much appreciated. You guys have a great day and happy llamas coming up. We'll see you next time. Bye.